What's up, y'all? Hey, back at it. It's my weekend. So uh, we're going to get back to sanding on the car. Um, just want to show you guys where it's at right now. And then I'll bring it back after I get down with it. You know? So. All right, this is where we're at so far. Um, basically the front. Took it down to bare metal here. Um, and then uh, on the side here. And so what we've been doing is uh, hitting it with a 100, 120, 180 grit. My intention was to do 180 and then uh, go up to 320. Um, however, the 180 just was not blasting through it fast enough for me. Uh, so I switched down to 150 and then 120 and now 100. And the 100 is, is appropriate. And you got to remember, even though I'm using a, a fairly coarse grit, okay, um, as long as you're going back up, it's fine. You can uh, you can create uh, scuff marks, scratches, whatever you want, as long as you're going to go back up to 180, to 320, to 400 before you put your primer down. So it's not a big deal if you if you hit it. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Is uh, so I had it going, and then. I had the sander going and put it to the car, okay, and it caused that right there. You can see it went all the way straight down to primer, all right? Am I worried about it? No. No, I'm not. You can see the, the individual little swirl marks, okay? Am I worried about that? No. I'm not worried about it. You shouldn't either because I'm going to go over it with two or three higher, more fine uh, grits that are going to take all that out. And then you can always block sand it. Um, to make it real uniform and even if that's what you want to do. So the, that's the, what I've learned is with sanding and prep work, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's, it's real simple because any mistake you make, who gives a shit? You're gonna sand it out anyway. So who cares, right? All right, so I'll come back to you guys after I've got the car pretty much sanded down. We're gonna tackle that roof and I'll show you how it goes, all right? Later, guys. That's fucking gnarly. Wow. Yeah, I'll be here all day with this. I need a grinding wheel. I need more power. More power. Something just cut the whole roof off. Jesus. Hey, look, look at the Chicago electric nonsense, dude. Look at that fucking machine. Jesus criminy. <laughs> All right, guys. So, uh, basically, what's up? <laughs> Hey, uh, basically, uh, the entire car is done with the first stage of sanding. Um, it's basically been knocked all down with 100 grit, except the rear bumper I did with uh, 180 because it's ABS plastic. I didn't want to mold or shape anything. Um, some of these fine lines here, I didn't want to shape it. Uh, so I went with 180 instead of 100. I didn't want to cut in, and that was good enough for me. So, um, yeah. Here she is. You can see some places. Remember all the places that you went down to metal so you can hit it with an etching primer before you throw on your regular primer. Okay? So, but here we are. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. I know you guys love my jams. So these spots, um, did it by hand with a 150 sanding sponge. And those will be hit again with finer grade. Um, so yeah, the roof has not been tackled yet, but it will be soon. Will be soon. Well, there's the Tahoe. Painted the wheels on. So yeah, so there she is. So uh, I'm a little beat. Uh, ran around, did some other stuff today, and so I am going to. Um, chill out and relax for the rest of the night and then tomorrow It's time to tackle the roof So I'll see you then all right later
Ready whenever you are. What's up, guys? Uh, so, I the car is all sanded down with the first stage. So now I'm going to start to tackle this roof that I showed you is fucked. Um, this is the moment I've been waiting for. Probably the moment you guys have been waiting for. See how bad this is. You guys can laugh your asses off at me. I'm going with a 40 grit. I need to bust off all this shit Bondo filler that someone put on here. And I don't really give a shit. So, I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Uh, you know, get down to the metal. Just fucking cut through the whole roof. Fuck, who cares, right? I don't give a shit. All right, let's see what we got under, under all this garbage. Sounds like an old lady farting. So this is actually good. So what I was concerned about was that the cracking, you can, you can see all this shit, but you see all this, this cracking and misshaping here. I was concerned that that went all the way up to the glass because I do not want to have to bondo all the way up to the glass. All right. Um, I'm not a professional. Man. I don't know how that's going to turn out. I might be driving down the road, the roof fucking flies off, and I got a convertible SRT. Might be kind of cool. You know, if I was in, like, Venice Beach in the 90s or some shit, and chicks are roller skating with their tits out in front of me, but that's not what's occurring. So, uh, it's not exactly desirable at this time. So, this is good. This is a good thing. Um, we can see where the cracks are. It looks like this might be the last one right here. And so, uh, I'm going to take all this shit off. And uh, then come back to you guys, all right, and show you what we're working with. Later.
don't look good. That don't look good at all. I gotta take all this shit off. Cause I gotta get all that rust off. like tells you how old it is like the rings on a tree huh it's gross it's gross That's good. It's not just a roof made of Bondo. I don't know. Maybe I'll be able to, like, sand that and feather it in. Or I'm just going to sit here for, like, days. Fucking just sanding and sanding and sanding and sanding. <sighs> Lame. Because 40 grit's the most coarse I, there, there is, really. I think there's 36 grit, but I don't think, believe I even have that. I mean, you can always use like a grinding wheel, but I'm trying to do all that. I could. I have them. So, let's just keep sanding, I guess. Fuck it. Yeah, what else are you going to do? Just sit there all fucking day. That's nasty though, ain't it? <laughs> Sanding is taking forever, forever. It ain't gonna work. Uh, read online that a lot of dudes will use a heat gun or a torch to take this shit off. Um, like most of you, I have a torch. I just don't know where it is. I haven't seen it in years. Who the hell knows? It, uh, who knows? So before I go to town and buy another one, um, I'm gonna use this wire cut brush on the hammer drill, the old Sh Chicago electric and uh, see what happens. So let's, let's dig in, boys. Let's tear this shit up, huh? As you can see, that's actually digging in pretty good. So we'll keep at it with this and see where we get.
All right. So just to get a gauge, the entire goddamn roof is body filler. Uh, all the way to this side is about an eighth of an inch of body filler. All right. Look at that shit. All the way to this side is about an eighth of an inch of body filler. So I don't know what they did with this car before I bought it, but apparently someone was going nutty and sideshowing and decided to fucking jump on the roof or some shit. And that's why this happened. So what we're going to do is take all this shit off, see how bad it is, and then figure out how we can repair it properly where it won't crack again in two years. All right. I'm um, either that or I'm going to repair it like this and then sell it to one of you guys. And you won't even know it. You'll have no clue. And then you'll be where I am two years from now. All right. See you in a bit. <laughs> Fuck me. I know goddamn well I didn't have no baby ass fucking wheel on there. Son of a bitch. Alright, well. Alright. Let's figure this out. So, the wire wheel on the, the drill is digging in, but it's gonna take me all day. So what I'm doing here is I got an angle grinder with a 60 grit flap disc and this should fucking tear some shit up. Alright, now when you're doing something like this, it's going to throw up so much dust and particles and garbage. Make sure to wear your safety equipment when you're doing this stuff. I mean, sanding is bad enough, painting is bad enough, but when you're doing something like this, make sure to wear your safety stuff. Okay, this stuff's kicking ass. I got to uh, put on some gloves though. I don't, know, I don't think you guys are even freaking can see what I'm doing.
All right, so it seems that, seems like the uh, angle grinder with the uh, flap disc is the way to go, guys. And I can fill under here, and we'll see once I get it all sanded down, but it is really beat up. It's really dented up. Um, disappointed, yet uh, I welcome the challenge. So after I get the whole roof done, I'll come back and holler at y'all. see angle grinder with a flap disc 60 grit um, it will take off bondo and the beauty part about it is if you want you can hit the rust while you're up here All right, so here it is. With all the Bondo taken off. So I did that all with the uh, angle grinder, flap disc, and uh, it took me, I don't know, probably about an hour, if that, if you're not counting the brakes I took. So there you go. That's how you can remove uh, old, thick-ass Bondo that someone else put on a car before you got your hands on it. Cool. All right, guys. So I just got done with the angle grinder. You can see that there's still some Bondo, some paint on here. So I'm going to sand it with an 80 grit to try to take all that off. And because I'm likely going to put Bondo back on here, I'm going to just try to take it all the way down to bare metal or at least where it's very smooth. That way, not only can I assess the damage, but also that way the Bondo will have a better surface to adhere to so I don't end up with those cracks. Mm -hmm. 